What's up, YouTube? Guess what I have for you today? Another Banggood video. And today's video is on the almighty Opus, that's right, the Opus BTC 3100 version 2.2. Did you ever wonder why they show one of those big ass batteries on there but don't tell you how to charge it? It's a LifePo 4, and a lot of people don't know that you can charge the LifePo batteries or the ones that only go to like 3.2 volts. These also have a setting for the 4.3 five volt lithium ion cells as well. We're gonna take it apart and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do because maybe you weren't aware. Let's open it up. Here is the hidden switch. It's just right in the middle on the right hand side once you pull off the back. And you can see it says 4.2, 4.35, and 3.7. And you can use the 3.7 volt option for your LifePo 4 batteries, or you can also use this option to put your 18650s in like a long term storage voltage. And that's it. All you gotta do is switch it to whatever option you want and plug it back in and start using it. Simple enough, right? Just take it apart, flip the switch, and then go right to charging. Just don't forget that that's the setting that you left it on, because you don't want to throw your regular 18650s in there. Try to do a discharge test and then get faulty numbers. And I did get some of these big bad boys the other day, which are the 26650s. These are the LifePo 4s, and I believe their nominal voltage is 3.2. I'm gonna have to look up the number on there to see what their actual capacity is, and then we'll see what it does. So these are the first LifePo 4 batteries that I've ever gotten. I kind of like how this is all put together with the BMS board already attached to it, so I'm only gonna rip off one battery and we'll test it that way. And hopefully I can at least solder it back together to keep it in its original form and if I can't then who cares those are some heavy-duty freaking tabs there Jesus, these are huge. All right, so the part number on these is US 26650 FT. So let's give it a little test run, shall we? So the internet says these are roughly 3000 milliamps. So we will give it a try and see what it has left in it. And we'll probably also do a couple other tests on here as well. But for now, we'll go ahead and do the charge discharge cycle. And we'll do the one amp test. All right, so it's a few hours later and it's all done doing its capacity check and whatnot. And we ended up with 2873 milliamp hours. There we go, got my chicken scratch on there. And let's see what else we got on here. And we're back to 3.36 volts and it ran for two hours and 47 minutes. All right, so now let's do a resistance test since we're already here. Quick test. Okay, it looks like our internal resistance is 53, so I'd say that's pretty good. All right, check good. All right, YouTube, there you go. The Opus charger can capacity check and check the internal resistance of not only your 18650s, but the 26650 LifePo cells. So if you are doing a power wall or really any sort of 
battery project that requires the 26650s or the or just the life pose in general now you know that they can charge and capacity check those as well so i would call that test a complete success the opus is actually a pretty cool charger there's all sorts of stuff on there that i guess i never really paid attention to because i've only been using the fox novos now i have the opus in my arsenal so i will give that a try and i'm pretty much going to test everything on one amp and remember it does do the 4.35 volt as well uh, i would try one of those but i don't want to dig through all the cells over there just to find one and these ones are kind of easily spottable just remember if you are going to be charging regular 18650s to remember to put that switch back I guess what you probably could do is maybe drill a hole or a slot in here and maybe put a little extension on that switch so you can go back and forth at any time. Or if you only have one set of batteries, then you could leave it to that switch all the time. But since most of my batteries are the 18650s, I'm gonna put it back to the 4.2 volt and leave it. All right, well, hopefully you guys liked that video and don't forget it was from Banggood. <laughs> And if you would like to know more about the Opus, don't forget to check out the links down below. I'll probably be doing some future videos with the Opus and the Fox Novo just to see how they kind of compare in capacity checking and see if they're close to each other. I guess the one thing that this one does over the Fox Novo is the internal resistance testing. I've never done that before. This was the actual first test I've ever done with that. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know how accurate it is. I know in other people's videos, they've tested it with an accurate resistance tester and it wasn't that close. So it might just be a number. Don't take my word for that though. All right, well, if you guys are interested in getting one of these, please check out the links below. And right now they are about $45 from Banggood. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back over to the 4.2 volt setting and get testing on that batch of batteries right there. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. And these also have a setting for the 4.3 vibe. Three, three vibe. I'll charge. Are these life pose? Lithium ion cells, which you can see my capacity check on there, so you know it, it does work. So let me turn it and start over. The opius, opius. Hmm, I waited that time. Lifepo, lifepo? I, it's so weird saying lifepo.